one, two, three. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Vanessa? Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. Excellent. Welcome to the class. I don't remember seeing you yesterday. Yes, I remember in the class the past of B. Yes, you were in class, only that probably you were very quiet, maybe you were tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> yes, I imagine so. Okay, well, welcome to the class. I hope that you feel better, okay, in a moment. So I'm going to- Thank you. Yes, you're welcome, my friend. I'm going to start sharing, <laughs> so. Let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Today is September the 1st, and this is the pre-intermediate two. Tonight's topic is, I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. So let's begin. On the agenda tonight, we have, uh, or in the agenda tonight, we have, I'm your new neighbor, there is, there are, it's pretty safe, quantifiers, how much and how many, okay? These four things are the ones that we plan to study tonight. I'm your, your new neighbor, there is and there are, it's pretty safe in quantifiers, okay? So, Let's begin with, the, with this. We have the purpose of this class is to describe your neighborhood. We're going to be talking about what services there are in your neighborhood and uh, what things you can do in the neighborhood, okay? So this part, we're going to skip it today. We're going to move ahead. We're going to begin with this part, okay. My neighborhood, I would like you to look at the two things that we have here. Here we have a restaurant and here we have a bar and a cafe, right? Okay, so this is in France. The picture is from France. That's why it says a gallery. Christine de, de Goni, and I don't know what else. So, okay. Now let's see. We're going to be in this exercise, we're going to be matching what's a, and it's a place where you, so we're going to be matching the definition of the words. Okay, so let's begin from the beginning. Let me use the arrows. Okay, a barber shop. Hello, Noemi. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. And you? How was your day? It was nice. It was a very nice day. Yes, it was Amazing well. to hear that. <laughs> yes, okay. Excellent. And your day? Was it good? Um, I was very heavy. Busy? I yeah, I am uh, very tired today. Okay, sorry to hear that. <laughs> right after class, you can go and sleep, okay? Yeah, of course. <laughs> but you have to do the exercises, you will tell me, right? Um, no, uh, yesterday I worked at 2, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, excellent. So you have- and I took advance. Okay, wonderful. That's nice. Don Rafael, good evening. How are you? Good evening, fine. And you? I'm fine too. Welcome to the class, okay? Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Let us see 
how can we connect the words and the definitions? A barbershop is a place where you get a haircut. Excellent. It's a place where you get a haircut. So we match it like this. Okay. How about a laundromat? What's a laundromat? It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Exactly. Excellent. Yes. The library. What's a library? It's a place where you write cards and paper. Almost. Oh, Almost. No, I'm sorry. It's a place where you borrow books. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we think library, libreria, right? Uh -huh. But libreria is bookstore. Okay. Let's see. What what about a stationary stationary store? Mm -hmm. A stationary store? It's a place where you buy cards and paper, right? Excellent. That's correct. Okay, stationary means uh, the necessary for you to work in an office, right? Like envelopes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. yes, excellent. What's a travel agency? It's a place where you make a reservation for a trip. Perfect. Yes. You make reservations for a trip. Uh -huh. What about a grocery store? It's a place where you buy food. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where you buy food. And the theater, what's a theater? It's a place where you see a movie or play. Mm -hmm. Yes, where you see a movie or a play. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, so this is the way it goes. A barber shop is a place where you get a haircut. The laundromat is a place where you wash and dry clothes. The library is a place where you borrow books. The stationery store is a place where you buy cards and paper. A, a travel agency is a place where you make reservations for a trip. A grocery store is a place where you buy food. And a theater is a place where you see a movie or play. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Noemi. And thank you, the others. Okay, let's continue. Exercise one, conversation. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. Okay, listen and practice. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> okay, the boy is a little, I mean, has a little long hair, right? So his hair is a little long. So he needs a haircut. And that's why the lady says, oh, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yes, you need a haircut, okay? Let's see. We have words like neighbor, neighbor is the person, neighborhood is the place, okay? And then grocery store, okay? Other laundromat, there are, there is and there are. There's one across from the shopping center and the barber shop. There's a barber shop in the shopping center, okay? So these are the words, some of the words that could be difficult. Okay, volunteers to practice the conversation. 
So we have Don Rafael is Jack and Claudita is Mrs. Day. Okay, let's begin. Excuse me, I'm your new neighborhood. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, next volunteer, Noemi, is going to be Mrs. Day. And uh, uh, let me see, I think I saw Don. Uh, let me see. Hey, teacher. <coughs> Don Alexander Marroquin, you are Jack. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a, a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, two more volunteers. Okay, Don Mauricio Morales, it's going to be Jack. And Lilian Galvez is going to be Mrs. Day. So, okay. let's begin. Excuse me, I'm your neighbor. I am a new neighbor, neighbor, uh, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some uh, on Pine Street. Oh, good. Uh, and is there a laundry mat near here? Well, I think her song across from the chopper center. Uh, thank you. By the way, there a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, thank you very much. By the way means, by the way means, now that we are talking about this or changing the topic, I want to tell you this, okay? Using the opportunity, I'm going to tell you this, okay? By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Go get a haircut. And the man says, a barber shop? I'm a rock star. I cannot get a haircut, right? Okay, let's see. Two more people are volunteers. Volunteers? Mm -hmm. yeah, really? Okay. I need that. Okay. Karina is Mrs. Day. And I need uh, a gentleman for Jack. One boy to be Jack. Don Cesar Oviedo. Okay, thank you, Don Cesar Oviedo. I knew that you would volunteer. Okay, so you begin. I need. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are Jack. Yes. And Karina is Mrs. Day. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Are you your new neighbor? Yep. I just moved in. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. 
Oh, good. I started a laundromat near here. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, two more people. And with this, we finish. Okay, I have two more people. I have Doña Yolanda Cativo and uh, Don Rafael, no, Don Luis Alonso Mendoza. Okay, so let's begin. Jack and Mr. Stegg. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I'm your, your new neighbor, Jack. I just moving, moving. Moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can hear me, Chiche. Yes. I'm looking. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I'm looking for, for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Okay, yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, cool. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, so let's continue. Number two, there is and there are one any and some. Okay, for this one, let me, let me use something else that I need uh, to reinforce it, okay? Let me see for a moment. Okay. I'm going to share the screen with you because this is another screen. Okay, let me see. Okay. We use there is, okay. There is to talk about singular things, right? That's why we say there is a. A means one. So it's used for singular, right? Let me change the color. Okay. Now that's much better. Okay, I want you to look over here. There is a. Something that everybody knows, the parts of the body, right? What things uh, there are only, let's say, or there is only one of each in our bodies. There is a head in my body, right? There is a head in my body. What else is only one? No. There is a nose. There is a nose. There is a nose in my face, okay? There is a nose in my face. What else is only one? Mouth? There is a mouth. Mm -hmm. So we say the contraction is theirs, okay? Yes. A mouth, 
in my face. Okay, excellent. Now this is a four singular, there is one. So the characteristics are, we say there is a mm -hmm in the aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Imagine there is a mm -hmm in the aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so what are we saying here? This is the object, right? That there is only one, the object, and this is the place. Okay, because they normally, we have the combination. What's the meaning of there is? I, right? I. In Spanish, I, in the present, is only one. I is for everything in Spanish. Hay uno, hay dos, right? The same happens in the past. Hubo, hubo uno, hubo dos. Hubieron doesn't exist, right? Hubieron doesn't exist. So hubieron dos muertos. Mm -mm. Hubo dos muertos. For this form, there is only one form. In English, it's the same. In English, we have, there is, is four, okay? Let's say, there is and there are, plural, okay? So the singular is there is a book on the table. There is a book on the table. There is a pencil in my pocket. Teacher, what is pocket? My pants has pockets. My shirt has a chest pocket, right? It's a small bag where I put the things or I carry my wallet yeah. or my money. That's a pocket. So, you can say there is a, there is a, com there is a computer in my office. There's a computer in my office, correct. Perfect, that's a very good example. Thank you, my friend. Okay, so we say there is a pen in the pocket, okay? Like uh, someone said, there is an, if it because of the next noun, there is an apple, there is an apple in the bowl. Teacher, what is bowl? You remember the Super Bowl? There are many cards in there. Okay, there is an apple in the bowl, in el tazón. Right? There is an apple in the bowl. There is a computer, like perfectly, my friend gave me an example. There is a computer in the office, maybe in my office. Okay? There is a computer in the office. Okay? So this is singular, singular. But for plural, it's the same thing. But we say for, for plural, we use there are. After there are, we use a number. And of course, again, we have the place, right? So we have a number here. I'm going to put um, the symbol for number, okay? And here is going to be the object. In what form is the object going to be? In singular or in plural? In plural. Plural, right? Exactly, because it's plural. So in the place. The place is not in plural, okay? Only like that. So this is for singular, I'm going to put, use capitals, I'm not shouting, we just put it singular, singular. And this is going to be for Pluto, Pluto. Okay, we're going to continue using what we were using, the parts of the body, and we're going to say there are, I'm going to use a number here because, want to use the symbol that we're using, we're going to say two. 
Let's see. Yeah. Uh, there are two, excellent. There are two ears, right? There are two ears. Oh, but not yet. In my head. Yes, in my head, there are two ears. Oh, teacher, they are capital. Okay, let's put them in like this, ears. There are two ears. In my head, no. Yes, in my head. I'm going to eliminate the, in order to use my, but it's only for this case, okay? So to be use head. In my head, in my head, like the zombie song. Oh. <laughs> you remember, right? In my head, in my head. Okay, so. Right. Your hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want to sing it correctly because if I do YouTube, it's going to, you know, tell me, hey, copyright, okay? <laughs> so now I, I sing badly, I'm a bad singer. So, okay, there are two ears in my head. There are two ears in my head. What other things do we have too? Hands. Hands, yes. There are two hands. In my body. Excellent, two hands in my body. Perfect, wonderful. What else? What other things are two? Eyes. There are two eyes. There are two eyes in my body. There are two eyes. Teacher, you, you put right. Yes. There are two eyes in my body. What else are two? There are two cars in my garage. Oh, congratulations. That's fantastic. Okay. There are two cars in your garage. That's good. Okay. Let me see. Well, let's say like finish the idea. There are two legs in my body. Teacher, how about the hair? What about the hair, my friend? Uh -huh. El cabello. Ah, okay. How do we use it? How do we use hair? Okay, we hair, we use it in a special way. There is some hair Okay, there are. on my head, right? Or in my head, some people say on <laughs> Okay, so there is a lot of hair, <laughs> a lot of hair. On my head. There's a lot of hair, a lot of hair on my head. Okay, okie dokie. Uh, why do we say that is? Because hair is uncountable. Even in Spanish, you don't say pelos, right? You don't say, hay muchos pelos. No, right? Yes? Okay. Even in English, you say, you don't say a lot of hair. You usually use, uh, a glossy hair. Well, there are some, some adjectives that are used for hair, okay? Well, okay, now that is a good question about hair, okay? Let's see, so singular, singular, there is a hair in my body. Plural, there are two hands in my body. Okay, one more thing that I want to explain. Some and any, okay. In affirmative, we use, there are some, we don't know, okay, when we don't know the exact number, we don't know the exact number. This is indefinite, it's indefinite. We don't know the exact number. So we say there are some, uh, what, apples? There are some apples in the refrigerator. If you say there are some apples in the refrigerator, notice that this is affirmative. There are some, is plural too, plural affirmative. 
indefinite number. We don't know how many there are. So there are some apples in the refrigerator. Another example could be, there are some books. There are some books on the table. This is affirmative. Negative. Well, how do we say negative? Okay, ah, but before that, let me give you another example. Some things cannot be counted, right? They are called non-count nouns or uncountable nouns. They don't have plural form. They exist, well, some people say that they have singular form, but in reality, they don't have singular form because if they had singular form, you would say a or an, and no. Simply, they don't have plural. They are just used in one form. So for this one, we use some, but we use there is, like hair. Hair is an example. So we say there is some milk in the refrigerator. There is some milk in the refrigerator or there's some soup in the bowl. There is some soup in the bowl. So we use some with plural nouns, but we also use some with non-count nouns <clears throat> or nouns that we cannot count. Okay, now let's get to the negative. We say, first, there aren't, there aren't what? Any. Any. There aren't any books on the shelf. There aren't any books on the shelf. You say, hey, there aren't any books on the shelf. No, uh, they are painting the room. So the books are in the other room. Ah, okay, I understand. That's why there aren't any books on the shelf, on the bookshelf. Okay, because we are using books here, it's better not to repeat. There aren't any books on the bookshelf, right? There aren't any books on the bookshelf, sounds funny. So it's better to say there aren't any books on the shelf. Now let's see the other one. Another example. There aren't any stores near my house. Okay, there aren't any stores near my house. There are many pupuserias, but there aren't any stores near my house. You have to go to the supermarket or you have to go to the grocery store, but no stores. Okay, now then you say, also you use it with non-count nouns. There isn't any ice cream in the refrigerator. So you say there isn't any ice cream in the refrigerator. What about if you say mm, there isn't any cheese, right? There isn't any cheese in the fridge. Teacher, what's a fridge? Short for refrigerator, right? It's the same refrigerator and it's only the short form. Now also we use any in questions. In questions we use like. Okay. Are there any 
books on the shelf. And we use a question mark, right? Are there any books on the shelf? And we say, yes, there are. Yes, there are some. Or, we say, no, what? I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Only one hand is a little difficult. Okay. Uh, no, there aren't any. Okay, so we say like this. Are there any books on the shelf? Yes, there are some. Or no, there aren't any. Teacher, can we only answer yes, there are? Yes. But you can answer no, there aren't. Okay. However, uh, in many instances, in many occasions, you say, yes, there are some. No, there aren't any. Okay, another example. Mm, see, difficult. Okay, are there any tomatoes? Are there any tomatoes in the refrigerator? Are there any tomatoes in the refrigerator? And of course we answer, yes, there are some, or no, there aren't any, or yes, there are, no, there aren't, right? What about, because we use, you remember, we use any for the other one, is there, let me see. Is there any milk? Is there any milk in the bottle? In the bottle, teacher? What bottle? Okay. In the bottle of milk, of course. Is there any milk in the bottle? No. Okay, no, there is a, there isn't a milk in the bottle. There is a genie in the bottle. Not a teacher, a genie in the bottle, okay? So we say, yes, there is or no, there aren't. What do we say? Yes. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. You can say, yes, there is some, okay? Or you can say, no, there isn't any. Sorry, capital, capital. Your question. Please ask. Go ahead, Rosario. Ask. Okay, I'm listening. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, the answer no puede ser there is there is some there is in, in negativa. Oh Siempre. no there isn't any. Mm -hmm. no. no puede ser some, no. No, some is for affirmative. Ah, okay. For affirmative. Any is for negative. Mm -hmm. We okay. use in negatives and in questions, right? Sí. So I'm going to put it here for you to, to remember. I'm going to put here, this is not any, so if any is here, no, it's not any. This is any, 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 and this is some. Okay, let me see, some. Okay, so let's say some is for affirmative. For affirmative sentence and countable nouns. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Thank Qu you. Yes, you're welcome, my friend. So any is for negatives and questions. Sorry that the line for negative is very short, but the computer right now makes it very short. So okay, any negative and questions. Some affirmative. 
Yes? Okay. Do you have any other questions? Remember, this is your class. It's not my class. It's your class. So if you have any questions, ask the questions. Pop the questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, no more questions? Fantastic. If there are no more questions, my dear uh, one. You can say, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Yeah, uh, but you can say there is milk in the bottle, no? Would you please repeat? Because I heard like transformer. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, but is there any milk in the bottle? Yes, there is some. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can you can say the other way is is there milk in the bottle? Yes, there is. Ah, you mean eliminate any? Any, uh huh? Sure, you can say it. Okay, let me tell you like this. Uh, when we speak Spanish, we find that it's very strange to use any, but it is not unusual. In Spanish, you say algo. Hay algo de leche en la botella? Right. Means, is the, the bottle empty? Okay, if you say, is there milk in the bottle? We don't say a little, a lot, or, no, only milk. Is there milk in the bottle or is there water in the bottle? Leche or agua? So is there milk or water in the bottle? However, the question is not what is there in the bottle. The question is, is it empty or does it still have a little milk? That's why the question is, is there any milk in the bottle? Okay. Yes, you can ask the question, is there milk in the bottle? And the other person will answer, no, there is water in the bottle. Okay, notice that it's different. Hay leche en la botella? No, hay agua. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the person already knows that there is milk. And then the person wants to know how much. So the person asks, is there any milk in the bottle? Hay algo de leche, right? Because the person already knows that there is milk. That's the difference between, is there milk or is there any milk? I don't know if I explained it clearly. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now my friends, Let's move on, let's continue. Okay. Um, the purpose of this exercise, there is, there are one and any, some, ah, I'm missing one, I'm missing one. All right, let me give you some examples with one because I'm missing one. All right. Some people don't know when to use one. I'm going to tell you when. Um, I'm going to give you an example with this one. Uh, okay, there is a nose in my body. A nose, okay, a uh, is one nose, one nose. So the, the pronoun to substitute a nose is one. Okay, sorry, excuse me the question. Is there a nose in my face? Yes, there is one. There is one, that's the answer. Is there a mouth in my face? Yes, there is one. One substitutes for a nose or a mouth. Teacher in it, no, it substitutes the nose, the nose, a specific, it. Hey, give me the book, give me the book, give it to me. Lend me a book, lend me one, a book, one. Let me see, I'm going to write it here. A book, pronoun, oh, sorry, that is capital. Let me see, I forget. 
a book. Pronoun one. The book. Pronoun it. Okay, example, do you have the book? Do you have it? Do you have the book? Do you have it? Okay, but check the other question. Do you have a book? Do you have one? Do you have a book? Do you have one? Okay, because one is a replacer, pronoun, right? To substitute for a book. And this one, it substitutes for the specific book, the book. Okay. Did I explain it clearly? Yes. Okay. Yeah, like our chat. I need a book. I need one. Do you have a book? Do you have one? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I saw a movie. And someone says, oh, really? I saw one, too. I saw one, too. I just saw a ghost. A ghost? Yes, I saw one, too. Ooh, a ghost, right? And you say, yes, I saw one. I saw one, too. Teacher, don't talk about ghosts. We are afraid at night. I sleep alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so questions? No questions. Okay, you are wonderful. Let's continue. Yes, my dear, my dear ones, let's check over here. Um, the purpose here is to describe a neighborhood. Okay, particularly to describe your neighborhood. So in the pictures, I wanted to, to put more pictures but I don't have time because to, I mean, today I went to the gym because I needed to go to the gym a month and a half without going to the gym. So I said, no, it's a crime. I'm going to go to the gym today, right? So, so I use these pictures, drugstore. Is there a drugstore in your neighborhood? Supermarket, is there a supermarket in your neighborhood? Teacher, that looks more like a grocery store. Okay, is there a grocery store in your neighborhood? Shoe store, is there a shoe store in the neighborhood? Okay. Bank, is there a bank in the neighborhood? This is Banco Cuscatlan. <laughs> Teacher, that doesn't exist. City, maybe, okay. So then you say, is there a bank? In your neighborhood? Is there a restaurant in the neighborhood? Is there a hotel in your neighborhood? Okay. Is there a hotel in your neighborhood? Okay. Are there drugstores? Are there any drugstores in your neighborhood? Are there any supermarkets in your neighborhood? Are there any shoe stores in the neighborhood? Are there any banks in the neighborhood? Are there any restaurants in the neighborhood? Are there any hotels in the neighborhood? Okay, just like that. Now, let's, let's check over here. This is the neighborhood, okay? Over here, you can see the houses seen with a drone, seen from above, okay? There is, there are one, any, and some. And the prepositions on, next to, near, is the same as close to, close, not close, close, close to, across from, opposite. Opposite the bank means on the other side of the street. Okay, opposite doesn't mean, I mean, opposite means what we use in Spanish in front, okay? But in front of is on the same side of the street, okay? There is a kiosk in front of my house. Means that is in the where I park my car. Okay. Well, if it's on the other side of the street, it's across from. 
there is a kiosk across from my house, okay? Opposite, right? Then we have in front of, in back of means behind, behind. And then of course we have between and on the corner. On the corner we have like, we have a street, we have another street. And say this street and this street, the corner, okay? On the corner, on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. You remember Bloomingdale's is on the corner of 59th Street and Lexington, right? It's on the corner of 59th Street, mm -hmm. Lexington in New York City. Now check over here. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Street. No, there aren't. Would you say, no, there aren't any around here. Okay, teacher, if we use in singular, we use one. What do we use in plural? Some. 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 Okay, if you say, there is, is there a bookstore in your block? Yes, there is one. Are there bookstores in your neighborhood? Yes, there are some, right? One. Singular, some for plural, yes. Is there a bookstore in your block? Yes, there is one, a bookstore, one. Are there any bookstores in your neighborhood? Yes, there are some. Bookstores, some, right? Okay, let's, let's continue, this is, this information, I will send it to you after class, together with this one. So you say, okay, let's see. Okay, um, my neighborhood, my neighborhood, ask and answer questions about places, no, places. I think that my, 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 sorry, mean, okay, places, right? Ask and answer questions about places in your neighborhood. Places, no. Okay, is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? Yes, there's an excellent one across from the park. Are there any coffee shops? Sorry, I don't know. Are there any cool dance clubs? I'm not sure, but I think there's one on Main Street. Okay, a bookstore, coffee shops, dance clubs, truck stores, a gym, an internet cafe, a karaoke bar, a library, a movie, movie theaters, a music store, a restaurant. Okay. Let's see, which ones do we use any? Because we're going to make questions. We use a with a singular, and we use any with? Plural, right? The plural. This is plural, it has an S, so we say? Any. Sorry, I'm going to move this a little bit. Um, okay. What else? Dance club. Use any. Dance club, we use any. Um, too close. Okay. Don't dance too close. Now, stars. Any. Any. Um, any drugstores, any drugstores, because it's plural, right? No, any, because it's a. Internet cafe, and 
an internet cafe, a karaoke box library, but theaters, movie theaters, what do you use? Any, any movie theaters, a music store, mm -hmm. park, and what do we use for this one? Any restaurants. Any restaurants. I'm going to put it on top because it's too close to the other one. So I'm going to just pull it up a little bit. Okay, now we are set. We can make the question. What questions can you say? You say, Doña Yolanda Cativo, is there a bookstore in your neighborhood? Okay, you say, Don Luis Alonso, is there a karaoke bar in your neighborhood? Okay, Noemi, is there? Is there a park in your neighborhood? Or uh, Don Rafael, are there any drugstores in your neighborhood? Or are there clubs across from your street? No, sorry, across from your house. In, in your okay, volunteers to ask questions. Yes. The other people. I see your hand. Please um, choose the victim. I mean, no, the, the person that you will ask. Um, May I the question? Select the person that you want to ask. Okay, uh, Miss Marina, is there a good bookstore in your neighborhood? Marina, okay. yes, yes, there is an excellent one across from the park. All right, excellent. This is from the examples, perfect. It's okay, no problem. Okay. Then, other volunteers, more questions about people's neighborhoods? Yes, Karina, can you ask, ask anybody that you want? Okay, please go ahead. Milagro Mira. Yep. Is there a library in your neighborhood? Repeat for please. Is there a library in your neighborhood? Yes, there is a library. Is a uh, from the park? Okay, <clears throat> there is a library. All right, excellent. Let's see, somebody else. Another volunteer, Noemi. Can you please ask a question? Choose the victim. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, Mauricio Morales. Yeah. There is a bookstore in your neighborhood. Is there a bookstore? Is there a is there a bookstore in your neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, is there? No, there isn't. Okay, no, there isn't. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Don Mauricio Morales, can you make the next question, please? Okay. Um, to, let me see. Um, Ada Gabriela. Um, there, is there? there are many there are many parks in your neighborhood. Are there any parks? Are, are there, there many parks in your neighbor, neighborhood? Are there any parks in your neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Repeat the question, please. Are there any park in your neighborhood? No, there isn't. Oh, no, there are. are no, there, there are, yes. There are. No, there are. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, 
Can you choose the, the volunteer? <laughs> Other, other Me coach. Yes. Uh, okay. There are dance clues, Milagro Mila. Are there? Are there dance clues in your neighborhood, Milagro Mila? No, they aren't. No, there aren't. They aren't, aren't any. There aren't any. Excellent. Very good. There aren't any. Fantastic. Thank you. Now, Doña Milagro Mira, please ask the next question. Select the first. Mm. Luis Alonso. <laughs> Alicito. Mm -hmm. Are there any upper apples in the table? It's okay. Um, <laughs> no, they aren't. No, they aren't, right? No, there aren't any apples on the table. Okay, very good. Uh, the table. My friends, yeah. before we continue, uh, let me give you a little insight into this. A bookstore. Is there a bookstore in your neighborhood? Okay. Any coffee shop? There are there any coffee shops in your neighborhood? Yes. So if you see any, and you see these nouns, we use are there, are there any? If you see a, uh, you say is there. I'm going to write it here. Excuse me, I'm going to try to use both hands. Okay. And the other one. Let me see. Okay. Now we have the questions. Um, I hope there, okay, you can see that. So, is there a bookstore in your neighborhood? Is there a gym in your neighborhood? Is there a karaoke bar in your neighborhood? Is there a library in the neighborhood? But are there any coffee shops in your neighborhood? Are there any dance clubs in your neighborhood? Are there any drug stores in your neighborhood, et cetera? Okay, volunteers. Yes, Doña Milagro, Mira, you have a question. I see a big question mark on your face. Tell me, please. What's your question? Doña Milagro, Mira, what's your question? Do you have a question? Is, is there a karaoke bar in your neighborhood? Perfect, fantastic, excellent, very good. Yes. Say no, there isn't any in my neighborhood. There isn't any karaoke bar in my neighborhood. Okay. Okay, nice question. Thank you very much. Yolanda Castillo, would you please ask your question and choose the volunteer? It can be your husband, no problem. Okay. <laughs> my husband is not here right now, teacher. <laughs> no. <it's right> now. <laughs> Are there any coffee shops in your neighborhood, Mr. Elvis Abrego? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they aren't. No, excellent. No, they aren't. Perfect. Don Elvis, can you ask the next question, please? Uh, give me a moment for select the victim. Perfect. Please go ahead. Cesar Oviedo. Hello. Uh, 
Are there are there a park near your in your neighborhood? Is there a park? Is there a park near your neighborhood? Is there a park? Is there a park in the neighborhood? Yeah, there are some. Yes, there are some. Okay. Is there a park near? Yes, there are some. It's okay. Very good. Now let's move on. It's the same, the same thing. Okay. So, put you a little more information. Is there a bank around here? Yes. There's one on the corner of First and Main. Are there any bookstores around here? No, there aren't, but there's one on Main Street. Okay. How do we complete? How do we complete these sentences? Okay. There is a bank. There is, there is a, a bank. bank. There on is Second bank. Avenue. Second Avenue. Uh -huh. There is a bank on Second Avenue. How do we complete this one? Are uh, there uh, any stores? Are there any on stores this block, on, the block? on this block? And we say no. No, there aren't. There aren't any. There aren't any. And then in the next one, how do we complete? Uh, there, there are, are some, some restaurants. Are some restaurants. Mm -hmm. There are near here. There is. Is there, is. there is. There is a supermarket. There is a supermarket down the street. There is a supermarket down the street. Yes, Lillian, tell me. Please. Where is a uh, restaurant? Where is restaurant? Oh, restaurant is, has to be plural. It's missing an S, right? Okay. Thank you. It has to be plural. Okay. That's, that's right. Okay. Thank you very much. So there are some restaurants near here. Thanks. Now then, okay. We're going to be asking the questions similar to before. There department store, gas stations, grocery stores, a gym, hotels, laundromat, recreation mm -hmm. center, shopping malls, and restaurants. Okay, I'm going to add here to help you. Ah. And uh, here, another ah. But, a bank. A bank. A bank. Yeah, and a bank, right? The first, uh -huh. A bank. Very good. But with the others, okay. remember that you have to use what? Any. Any. Okay. You say, teacher, why didn't you write any? Because A is already here. A is already in the question, right? So that's why I didn't put it here. But I emphasize, I emphasize any, any gas stations, any grocery stores, any shopping malls, any hotels, any restaurants. Okay, very good. Now, for some, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is one on the corner. Are there any shopping malls near here? Yes, there are two. Oh, okay, that's an example. Okay, let's see. Volunteers to make the questions right now. Principally the questions. Okay. Who wants to make the questions about shopping malls? How do we make the questions about shopping malls? Yes? Uh, are there any shopping malls near here? Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Another way of saying near here is nearby. Right. Nearby is another way of saying near, nearby, nearby, near here. Okay, Excellent. thank you very much. Some else to make questions about, is there a, okay, let me see these questions about the grocery stores. Volunteer. Yes. Are there any grocery stores near here? Wonderful. Okay. Let me see 
Lilian Galvez, can you please ask questions about the restaurant? Lilia, are there any restaurants near here? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, can you make questions about the gas stations? Yes. Doña Yolanda um, Mira. No, Yolanda Mira. I'm, I'm changing names. <laughs> Milagro Mira. Yes. And Doña Milagro Mira said Yolanda is a beautiful name. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, a department store. Can you make the question? Change, change. Um, Are there any gas stations near here? Are there any gas stations near here? Okay. And department store? Is there. Is there? Is there a department store near here? Excellent. Is there a department store near here? Restaurants. Are there, Are there any restaurants Are there any? near here? Are any restaurants near here? Recreation center. Is there a recreation center near here? Excellent. A gym. Is there a gym nearby? Is there a gym nearby? Okay. Very good. Cool. Perfect. That's okay. All right. Someone is telling me that my time has finished. Can I say, wait, I have the time has finished. I haven't finished, but my time has. Okay, I will have to let you go because time has finished. Today, we learned about this and there are. Okay, there is one, there are some. Is there any, are there any, right? Are there any bookstores? Is there a bookstore? Yes, there is one. Yes, there are some, okay? I hope that you remember these things. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending. Thank you, are... you teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good See night. You. Okay, I will- Teacher. Yes? The Banco Cuscatlán, uh, there is uh, Banco Cuscatlán in El Salvador. Citibank does not exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> oh. Yes, teacher. You didn't. You don't live here. <laughs> Believe me, I don't. Because if <laughs> there is a city, and there is no Cuscatlán. No, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Cuscatlán. No, Cuscatlán. Now it's not city anymore. No. Ah. Not city anymore. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank okay. you. Something new that I learned. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. God bless you. Take care. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Next to me. See you tomorrow. Bye.